G'day everyone and welcome back to part two of our beachy bracelet. When I left you last, we'd come down and uh, I was coming out of this uh, teal coloured bead here. So now we're going to start coming back up this way again. So I'm going to add on one of the teal coloured in the 8O, pass through the 6O bead. Trying not to get a knot as you do that. Annoying little things. Okay, took care of that. Okay. So here I'm going to add some of the... Um, dark blue in the 11 O's and I want enough to reach I'm going to make quite a big bridge here so I'm going to come right across to this uh, white 6 O here this is going to add some definition and some interest into the bracelet that's fine there so however many beads it takes you to to get across. You don't have to use 11 O's, you can use whatever you like there. As I said, there's no hard and fast rules to this. So now I'm going to pass through this turquoise bead, just past the white 6 O. And I want to add something in here. Um, we might add in one of our gemstones here it's starting to get up if I show you on my wrist if I can do this allowing for the closure and the loop coming this way it's starting to get up to the top of the wrist there so we can start adding some gemstones in so I'll just have a look here and see what I've got uh, what colour do I want to go with I think I'll go with the, yeah, the teal in the um, little glass rectangle bead we've got here, or I've got here. I'm going to pick that up, bring it down to my work. couple of um, 11 O's in the white coming through this bead here this white one here flipping the work over picking up another white or whatever colour you like. I've got two there. Just peyote through that next bead. Bring that all nice and tight. Peyote again. Through the um, accent bead we just added, going to add in one of the turquoise beads through the six O. Then peyote along. Our navy blue beads here. So skipping one, 
passing through the next one. And if you haven't seen part one to this tutorial, I'll leave a, a link down the bottom under the uh, show more section where you can um, check that out so you know where you're up to. You really need to watch part one before you can uh, attempt this bracelet. down nice and tight goodness these dark beads are very hard to see that cord up there. Okay. Through that last one just before the 6O bead there. And then we're going to flip. Now I'm going to pair it back up with the same colour. You can do whatever colour you want if you want to change it up. You can most certainly go ahead with that. It's your bracelet. You do what you like. I'm sure this is really boring for you, Sydney, watching me do this peyote. But it's the only way I can show you. I could fast forward through it a little bit, I guess, but then um, I might change my mind and decide to do something else. Okay, here, um, what am I going to add here? I'm going to do a little bridge. And I'm going to do it in the 15s in the turquoise. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll make a nice little bridge, I think. And if you don't like it, you can always take some off or add some more on, whatever you feel like doing. I'm just going to go through this accent bead again and this is mostly so we can um, reinforce it and I'm going to flip and I'm going to add one more of the white 
go back through the accent bead peyote this little bridge Well, why won't I? Um, yes, I will. Oops, I have to uh, come through this bead first. The turquoise one. The um, 8 -0. No, the 11 -0. I'm oh, sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling. It's lunchtime here. <laughs> it happened in my last video. I can't believe such embarrassing things your body can do. Okay, now I'm going to peyote. I wanted to get this video done this morning. But uh, I had some deliveries coming. Grocery delivery and couple of other different things delivered this morning and they all came at different times I've just finished putting the groceries away before I started this so hopefully my stomach behaves enough until I can uh, get something to eat got caught up there on something there we go just keep your eye out for that because that can um, yeah get you in all sorts of bother if you don't pay attention to it and here um, I might add in a couple of crystals I think a couple of the bicones Shut up, stomach. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to add one of the dark blue beads. Two of the crystals. Another dark blue one. Bring those down, see where they lie. Find which bead it's going to sit in nicely to come out of. So that's this one here for me. Pick up one of the dark blues, peyote, one peyote there, oh and I got caught up down there, well I'm going to have to leave that and pull it undone for later, oh my goodness I can't believe I did that, it does happen but not on video usually. Oh my goodness, my stomach. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, if you don't laugh about it, you'd cry, wouldn't you? Okay, dark blue. Again, coming back up. We've flipped the work over. We're coming back. Oh, everything wants to give me grief. My goodness. Okay, one more of the dark blue. Coming through that one just below the crystals. Passing back through the crystals. And through the 11-0, um, dark blue 11-0 at the end. Point tight. 
I'm going to peyote again with the turquoise and the fifteenths. here just going to add a bridge um, might do it in the sandy colored 11 O's I've picked up four there to start with we'll just have a look that needs a couple more so we'll go for six Back through that white one sticking out there. Flip the work. I'm going to add in a, one of those sandy colored ones, peyote back up. I might have to stop this video and go and have something to eat and then come back, I think. My goodness, it's not going to stop. All right, I'll just get to this edge of the end of the bridge and I'll pause it and um, have something to eat. <laughs> can't believe I'm saying that. And, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, and then I'll get back to you when I'm when my stomach's happy. All right, just coming through that turquoise one there, and that's where I'm going to pause it. I'll go and have something to eat, and um, we I'll meet you back here shortly. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, my stomach's satisfied now. So we can get on with our beading. So uh, what I did was we were on this side here. Coming out of the uh, first turquoise bead after we added on the sands. So I went up through two more of the the 15 turquoise. I've added on six of the 11-0 in the white. One in the 6-0 um, and then four more in the 11-0s uh, in the white. And coming out of the very first bead here this uh, 11 0 dark blue one I get my needle in there well hopefully you can see that one there so what we're going to do now is flip our work over we're going to add one of the dark blue coming through the first white one Another white peyote through the next one sticking out there. I've also added more thread as well. I was running out of thread, so I thought while I was um, having lunch, I'd add more thread. I'm sure you all know how to add thread. If you don't, there's plenty of tutorials. On YouTube that will show you how to do that okay, staying with the white or you can change the color up up to you skipping that first one
same again and one last one through that last white one there okay now here I can add something in there's a nice little gap there you can see that so I'm going to choose something in the dark blue I've got this little triangle shaped glass bead so I'm going to add uh, yeah one of the white the triangle bead bring those down and see where they sit It's not going to sit in nicely. Take that white one off that we just added. <clears throat> and just try the triangle on its own. Okay, that's sitting in there nice. So picking up a sandy coloured 11 through that one sticking out. Okay, now I'm going to flip the work. Just deciding what I'm going to do here. One of the sandy ones. I threw that one sticking out. Here I might do a bridge. Yeah, I'm going to do a bridge. So I'm going to choose the teal in the um, eight O's. got six on to start with we'll just see where that brings us, us up, that where that brings us up to yep so that one sticking out there go through that and I think we'll add another bridge in a different color in the turquoise in the eight O's five six it's going to take one more to get where I want to go fits in nice into this white bee here on the end flip your work over a 
the white one, back through the first turquoise one, and then peyote. I'm doing mine in the same colour, you can change it up if you like, totally up to you. Just making sure they all sit nicely in place. I'm just deciding whether I want to peyote through these ones or yes I will so going down through the white bead and then up through the teal making sure you don't get caught goodness sake come here there okay I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit bring it back this way so I can stay on camera okay on with the teal beads Always remembering to pull tight. You want to keep your work as tight as possible. Okay, now we're going to flip. Add a tail bead. back through that first one sticking out I might add something in here I think um, I might do one of the cubes in the tail one of the four millimeters And then I might add something there as well. I might add a... What will I add? Maybe one of the crystal rondelles. Excuse me, I'm burping now. Jeez. What else can I do? that there or not uh, yeah okay I don't mind it so here I'm just going to add one of the turquoise eight O's which I might need two 
to reach that far. Yes, so the first one there is sticking out. Peyote to into the next one. Just looking at that, I think that's looking very pretty so far. Very beachy. Another turquoise. It's coming into beach weather. I know that in America. Now, we've just left ours and we're in autumn at the moment. Not that we had beach weather this year, though. We had so much rain and flooding, and it was terrible. It's probably one of the worst uh, summers I can remember in a long, long time. Okay, up through that one there. Back through the one below the crystal, through the crystal itself. Gonna add something in there as well in that gap between the crystal and the cube to see what I've got that will fit. Um, I might just do a 6 0, I think, in the white. I'm gonna add a white one in there, see what that looks like through the cube. that in there yes I like that and then here I'm going to add some of the dark blue in the 11 O's uh, two or three I'll just say I've got two so far but I hope you're getting the idea of what I'm doing here so it's just you know, it's not just free form, it's free thinking as well. So you're just using your um, imagination, your own judgment, and what looks nice and what goes together. And then just building a beautiful piece of art. Okay, so I'll flip that over. I'm going to add one more of the dark blue in. Go back up through that dark blue that we just added, or the two that we just added, sorry. And then I'm going to add in what am I going to add there? Uh, some of the little sea green. I haven't used many of those, so I've got three. Yep, back through the 6 0. Through the crystal again. Out through the first um, 8 0 uh, turquoise bead we added. Now I'm just going to do a couple of little runs of the 15 O's in the dark blue. Got three beads there into the next turquoise one. And the same again. 
So just about all about breaking it up um, colour wise, texture wise, adding interest as you're going along. That's pretty much what it's all about. Okay, flip your work over. I'm going to add two more of the 15 O's in the dark blue. Come back up through those 15 O's that I added here. There we go. They're such tiny little beads. Oh, I thought we were through then. Oops, missed one. Okay, back through the other th the other three fifteen O's. come around this crystal so I'm going to use some of the the sea green three Six, seven there at the moment. I might need eight, I think. Um, add a stretch. I could get through there, but I'm going to add one more. Come back through the all of those sea green ones that on the end there. Three of them. Four of them. Three of them. Flip the work over. We're going to peyote back through. Oh, if I can get through that one, geez. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause here while I do this. Okay, I'm back. I got through it. Okay, back up through that one. Sorry if you can hear that truck outside, that's the um, feed truck for the ducks. It's a very, very loud truck. It's got to come down the side of the house to get onto the farm. Okay, we're staying with those sea greens.
I hope you don't find this boring. I never find things boring when I'm learning something new, so I guess I just think people think the way I do. Okay. Down through those two um, dark blue 15 O's. Pulling tight, making sure they're all sitting in place. Okay, I'm just I'm not gonna yep, I'm gonna peyote these. Rather than make you watch me do this, I'm going to peyote those, come back, um, or come out through here, and then I'll see where I'm up to then. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I peyoted down through the blue ones, added one more, came back up through the next bead, and now I've added on a um, check fire polish in the Picasso. Um, so I'm going to see where that see, actually no I'm going to take that off I'm going to pay only one more little 15 in the blue and come out through that bead there and then add in the Check fire polish. Pick up a sea green, little small one, through that first sea green sticking out there. up another sea green One more. Just deciding what to add here. I'm going to go through that next one and here I'm going to add uh, what did I add here? I'm going to add one of the uh, matte teal beads in um, an 8-0. Okay, flip the work over. One more of the sea green. Through that 8-0 that we just added. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the 
sea green just peyote Okay, that's what we've got so far. And this is where I might leave it for today. You can keep working on your piece. Just remembering to um, measure it on your wrist or with your tape measure. Got it on my wrist there. So we can see it's coming up close to the, the top part. Up here where we're going to be adding our focal bead. So just um, work on it, I would say, for another two centimeters maybe three just depending on how big your wrist is and um, I'll keep working on this one and um, come back when uh, we're up close to where we're going to start adding the focal bead so I think you should be able to follow along with that it's just basically the same thing as we're coming up to the focal bead I'm going to spread out a little bit more and that will be mostly by adding in some of the six O's and beads like this so that you are spreading it back out again um, if I happen to get to a spot where I think you might need to know something I will uh, pop back in at a, a short video for that and um, call it um, part two plus something like that so that you'll know along that line that that's um, just and it'll only be a short one just to show you Okay, well, I'll see you all in the next um, next video. Everybody have a lovely day. Please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. It really helps my channel, helps me to bring these um, tutorials to you. Um, I do them free of charge. And, uh, it, um, yeah, it would be nice to build up my um, subscriptions so that I can actually start getting paid a little bit of money from YouTube. That would be wonderful um, to cover my costs. All right, thanks very much, everybody. And as I said, see you next in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.